Fred had a reputation going into this. He obviously was a giant in television programming. He made CBS into a huge success. He did the same thing with ABC. And then things didn't go so well at NBC. And so he left that position, decided to go into independent production, for which he really didn't have much experience. And it was kind of a rough road for him to begin with. They tried to show with Alan Thicke and maybe a couple of other things that were never really stuck. So, uh, but always being inventive and uh, very smart. Fred's very smart. He has, a, he has a certain kind of genius that's very unique. And he went out, he got Raymond Burr, and he got the rights, and he put this together. And all of a sudden, there's Perry Mason. Then he came to me because they'd had a writer, and uh, Brandon Tartikoff, who was running NBC, who was a, you know, basically mentored by Fred. I mean, Fred kind of created him in a sense. I once asked him, I said, what was it you saw in Brandon Tartikoff? That you elevated him to these high positions. He said, nothing. I said, I'd fired everybody else. He was the only one left. <laughs> Fred was not long on sentiment. Fred's real genius, I thought, was the fact that, as, as he articulated to me, he said, you know, many times what happens with pilots is they go haywire with the casting. Everybody's kind of maybe looking for the same guy, and you wind up with somebody, and you compromise, and it doesn't work. He said, what we need to do is to start with the casting. Find a star, somebody who's already welcoming in, pe welcome in people's homes, and then design a show for that. So I said to myself, well then, what we need to do is to deliver enough humor in the show so that people like Andy for that will get that, plus they'll get the mystery show, which is uh, how we did it with Andy. We did it with Bill Conrad, uh, Tom Bosley, Dick Van Dyke, and it worked, you know. Uh, that was, that I think was Fred's real contribution to those shows. Other than the fact that most of the people that we were selling to were people who'd worked for him, who all of whom had stories about Fred, because Fred could be very colorful in his own way. Um, uh, one of the guys at NBC said that uh, two guys, two executives came into Fred's office one day and said, you know, you fired 52 vice presidents. Fred said, that's not true. He said, no, no, you have, you fired. I don't believe, I want to see the paperwork. I want to see the names of those 52 people that you say I fired. They come back with a name and he fires them. So, uh, you know, and, and because he, he really didn't understand production in the, in the beginning, uh, there was time when we were doing the Perry Mason, the first one, that he, he was in here and I was back in Toronto with the, with the crew. And he got very upset and started yelling about the fact that the set looked so fake. Of course, it was an actual courtroom. So he, you know, it, it, there was a learning curve for Fred, uh, you know, getting into television. His instincts were, were quite amazing because as uh, Carrie McCluggage, who used to run Paramount, said to me once, he said, you know, the thing about Fred is that Fred will have 20 ideas. Two of them will be brilliant. Two of them will be pretty good. And there's a descending scale down to not good at all. And he would pursue all of them with the same enthusiasm. And that was part of his charm and part of his genius. You know, he was originally called the man with the golden gut. His instincts about things were really wonderful. Uh, he could be eccentric, uh, he could be difficult, but he had a genius. And that's the genius that, you know, made these shows begin. And it was, it was his concept that made them work. You know, I was, I was lucky enough to be included in all of this. To, to, you know, to, to pull my part of the wagon. And uh, so I'm very indebted to, to Fred for that. I would, I would be living in this very nice house if it wasn't for Fred Silverman. I was doing okay, you know, throughout my career, but, you know, this, this was like the man from uncle was a sea change for me. Getting involved with Fred and Perry Mason changed my entire life. So I always uh, try to thank Fred for that and make sure that he gets proper credit. A lot of people will tell you a lot of interesting anecdotes about Fred, and, and there are many of them. But uh, at the heart of everything, Fred had a genius, and that's why he's Fred Silverman. <laughs>